The best way to get splinter free cuts with almost any tool is to use a sharp quality clean blade. As proof, I'm going to make a cross cut here at the table saw with the throat plate completely removed so there's nothing at all to support the wood fibers save for that back side as the teeth exit the material. As you can see, I have clean, crisp edges all the way around, and the same can be had at the miter saw as well. Now, even with a tired blade, most machines can benefit from what's called a zero clearance throat plate or insert if you were at the miter saw. This is where the opening of the insert is only as wide as the blade itself. And this narrow opening not only helps support the wood fibers on both sides of the blade as the material feeds in, it ensures small offcuts won't slide down in next to the blade. And a lot of times you can just make one or even buy one from the tools manufacturer or even a third party company. But what if you can't? Masking tape of some sort is usually the go-to in this situation. If you mask the material itself at the cut line on the face and edge where the teeth exit the material, the tape will work to hold the wood fibers together during the cut. The issue here, you need new tape with each cut. And depending on the task, that can start to add up pretty quick. If you cover the insert itself with tape, you won't go through so much tape, but it can start to break down and peel up. And because it's not so rigid, it really only works well over shorter spans. That's where this $2 piece of plastic comes to the rescue. Okay, so that's, it's a little misleading. It's like $10 for five of these strips, but if you do the math, it's, I mean, I'm just saying you can't buy like one or two. You guys get it. This is zero clearance tape from FastCap, and it's just two inch by 16 inch thin self-adhesive PVC strips designed to give you zero clearance for, well, anywhere you might want zero clearance. Now, before you guys ask, this isn't a sponsored video or anything. This is just something I happened to come across and I thought it could be beneficial for me in my shop. And if it is, I'd share it with you guys. It's super easy to install. Peel and stick is pretty foolproof after all, but you're going to have to do a little bit more than just stick it down if using it at the table saw, especially. Depending on how pretty you want it to look, you may have to cut around curves and contours to get the perfect fit. And for you saw stop folks, you'll have to cut around the little lock handle for it to still work like normal. And of course, it's going to have some sort of thickness to it, albeit small. So if having the top of the insert leveled off to the tabletop is important to you, install the tape and then just adjust your throat plate accordingly. If you can't adjust your any lower, you might have to just get a little creative. Now what about creating the curve? With the riving knife removed, turn the saw on and start raising the blade. Cover the blade with a sacrificial board to get clean, chip-free results and keep yourself from getting covered in sticky yellow debris. Once the blade is maxed out, turn the saw off, lower the blade, remove the insert and cut out the slot for the riving knife. Now, I've heard a few people say that the material can catch on the leading edge of the tape while you're feeding material in. I personally haven't had that issue, but a workaround, what I would do is I would take a file and just file a ramp on this leading edge right here. That way the material kind of glides up instead of just slamming into that hard PVC edge. Now, the concept is the same at the miter saw, only without a riving knife to get in your way. If you have a high tooth count blade installed, you should have no problem getting a clean kerf on the first cut. Either way, just go slow and you should be just fine. Now, one place where I think this is super helpful is that the one part of crosscut sleds that's commonly overlooked by pretty much everyone that's ever designed a super fancy crosscut sled. The part of the sled that the blade slides through. We've all had a really cool crosscut sled that is almost useless as time wears on because the kerf ends up getting chewed up and widened out. This PVC tape is just the answer to close up the kerf and rejuvenate a worn out sled. Now, I'll leave a link to these down in the video description if you guys want to check them out. But honestly, it's they're so inexpensive and you get five strips to work with. So even if you have to get kind of creative with your particular situation, most likely, I think it's going to be a worthwhile investment. That's all I've got for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next video.